So here we are again with Spooky's House of Jump Scares. And like in the game, it's currently raining where I am. So fun. We'll just pick up where we last left off. After Spooky's wonderful gift, which apparently I've not opened in this particular episode, even though we've seen it open in the previous episode, so I'm going to open it again. Look behind you. Ooh. Huh. There are different ones. Oh well. So, through the door we go. Mm, more of these things. Half the time I expect monsters to come out of them, whatever they are. Either that or they're really co creepy support beams and in this once again foggy room with the once again outside cloud things. I don't understand this place. Sorry I'm being a bit rambly today. It's just, I'm a little shook up from the last episode still. I think this is my last note. I'm going to die and never have found my... Ah! I think this is going to be my last note. I'm going to die having never found my escape. But really, that's not true. This place was like my escape. My escape from everything else. In the end, my death is kind of romantic. What kind of... Mm. This person makes me want to hurt people. Whatever. If you guys just heard a pinging noise, that was my Steam account being mean to me. Again. Uh, I'm not playing the arcade games again. It's not worth it. What's that noise? Oh no, it's foggy again. It could only mean one thing. One of the monsters is after me again. And that means it's the one that distorts vision? Possibly? I don't know. I'm not sticking around to find out. I just want to find the next monster, move on to the next floors, and get as far away from this thing that can distort reality as possible. No. Door. Oh, great. It's chasing me. Ah, uh, I can't even see the ground. Come on. Great. This is just great. Could it get any worse? Yes, it can get worse, apparently. Come on. And just so you know, when you guys see the videos on my YouTube channel, it's a lot brighter than I can see. Oh. Okay. No. No. It's got a knife or something and I'm not sticking around to see it. Any closer than I just saw. And apparently it's walking. And it's still catching up to me. That's not fair. So not fair. Honestly... my way where's the oh shoot oh no wrong way wrong wrong way oh not this again come on 
can't even see where I'm going. Is that ground? Okay. Straight. Come on. It's behind me. I'd like to move now. Please, and thank you. It's gone. Maybe. So I kind of feel that the next 100 levels is going to be that thing chasing me at this point. Uh, I should have made Tepid sit in the same room with me and do this. Where? Okay. Straight, 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 left? These floors are weird. Again. And I feel that I'm probably cycling through the same couple rooms over and over again, and all it is is Spooky's moving the house to accommodate the fact that I've been running in what feels like straight lines. Hmm. Half the time I feel like I'm going around in a circle. And I know I've seen the same three rooms over and over again. If I ever get to modify the layout of this house, I'm making a big mansion where I can possibly have all of our friends over, maybe? I don't know. If I could, that's what I would do with a mansion like this. Cat Doss. Let's see. I want to read that thing again. A creature found inside the church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with the specimen. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective against subjects with mental issues or weak wills. 168 fatalities with a question mark? Lovely. It just wants to give me a hug. Anything else? Oh no. There are more now. I don't know what that is. But it looks weird. So I won't explore that until we meet the next creatures. So let's just get back to running through the house away from that particular monster. The other ones didn't seem so bad, except for the clicking monster, which I'm not good with its method of killing people, so let's just move quickly along and away from what else is in this house. Stupid dead end. And this sprint meter is ridiculous. And the noise cut out again. So, the guy left his last note, but we haven't seen him yet, so he might be still alive wandering around in this weird house. It'd be nice to have a traveling companion through this thing. Straight. Left. Straight. Right. Straight. Left. It's always left, it feels like. Hopefully, we don't run into the 
creepy manipulative monster again in one of these rooms. Mm. Wish this sprint meter wasn't so annoying. And all the noises sound so final. Like, soon there's a big boulder gonna drop out of nowhere and just flatten me. Oh. Well, I guess he didn't make it at all. And what's with the hat? And the quill? Never mind. I don't want to know. Well, no more traveling companion ideas, I guess. I'm going to stop it here at 300. You know, it's weird that I keep stopping every 50 floors, but... It's just easier with a save point to stop so nothing will kill us. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.